guys, so uh, welcome to the first ever episode of In Off The Post on Dolphin TV. Okay, I've got my first guest here, Jordan Pollard, aka The Wizard. Um, just gonna ask you a few questions, mate. So, uh, what year, how many years have you been down at the Dolphs? Third year now. So, Third year. Yeah, been here for a little while now, so. Yeah, so vice captain. Um, can you just run me through maybe the feelings of when Paddy told you you are gonna captain the club a couple of weeks ago, first time out as captain? Yeah, so it was, it was a good feeling, to be honest. Yep. Um, I suppose a lot of hard work's gone in before that to, to get here. Um, so, um, I sort of try and pride myself on being a bit of a leader, um, being a little bit older, um, even though I'm only 25, I'm probably nearly one of the oldest here, so I try and sort of lead by example and um, yeah, so when he when he gave me the call up, I was, I was wrapped and um, it was good to know I had the backing from the guys as well. So. Yeah, nice spot on, good stuff. Um, obviously got our first win on the board um, in quite a while, 24 games on the weekend. Uh, first of all, how was the feeling in the rooms after the games? Yeah, she was... Um, it was a good feeling. Um, probably got a little bit carried away, but um, as you do when it's 600 and whatever days between wins. But um, yeah, it was just for me. It was just relief. Um, same thing as I said before. A lot of hard work. Uh, a lot of sacrifices from everyone. Yep. Um, and then just good to see some boys get some reward for effort. So. Um, uh, Paddy especially, the boy puts in a mountain of work, so it's good to see him get some effort, uh, some reward, and then also the new bikes to get them in the middle and sing the song. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's a feeling we haven't really felt for a while, that, that 10 minutes after a game, so yeah. Yeah, it was good. And obviously moving on from that, mm -hmm. what are some, some goals that you want to set, like you see us trying to achieve this year? Oh, I think it's a, it's a cliche, but really important, we just take it week by week and yeah. get better each week. I think that's what's, what's working for us at the moment. Um, we address what we don't do well, we go to work on it, and we, we work hard at it, and um, just, we, we've got to keep continually trying to improve. With one one game, let's be, be realistic with where we're at. Um, yep. So it's important for us to keep pushing forward. And maybe last of all, most annoying bloke at the club, and why? Most annoying bloke? Well, behind yourself. Uh, <laughs> um, most annoying, there's a few. Probably Chin would be up there. Um, most arrogant would be Smouty. Um, but probably you, you probably take the game. <laughs> Classic stitch up there. Stitch so, up, yeah. yeah. Thanks so much, Jordy. No worries, thanks for having me. Thanks. Okay, guys, so my next guest is Josh Pickers. Okay, uh, how are you going, Pick? Yeah, great after who threw that? <laughs> Just a bit of locker and bounce going on. <laughs> Yeah, so um, obviously you played some pretty good footy over the last year. You got yourself in the senior team um, to many your spot last year. Yeah. Uh, just maybe give us a rundown on, on what you try to bring to the team. I know, Paddy, is it true he's actually told you that you're the only player who doesn't mind getting caught holding the ball three times a game? Yeah, he, he does say that to me. Um, I try and take the game on as much as possible. He, he gives me a license to do it, so I try and do as much as possible. Um, but yeah, I've got to use my leg speed, just take the game on, and um, try and kick some goals. I think. Yeah, no, brilliant, man. That's what we need from you. So we've got a bit, bit of a speed demon. Probably would take Usain Bolt in 100 metres, young Joshy over here. So um, yeah, maybe just getting getting to to know the fellas. Uh, who do you sort of hang around with at the club? Um, oh, I hang around most of the blokes, but a uh, few pick up, pick up uh, Nui, Pong. Um, so Joshy Newman, Jason Pongrassi, yep. yeah. I've been good mates with Nui for a couple of years. He's back with Stingray, so I'm pretty close with him. So, so Stingray's boys stick together? Yeah, got all the Nathan Ford and the Souls and all that, so we try and stick together. You are a bit clicky, you boys, so. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and I asked Polly before, most annoying bloke in the club and why? I'm standing right next to him, mate. Mate, you stitch up. You're so annoying. Why? Walk, you you, can't, say, you, you walk, can't say me. Say someone else. You walk around the club rooms naked. What's going with that? Keep it PJ. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Pickles, for coming on. No. G'day, guys. So I've got another guest on the show, Alex Smear. Okay. Yeah, not too bad, mate. So second year down at the club. Um, how are you finding yourself? How's the experience been down at the club? Um, you know, with the boys on, you know, maybe on and off the field. Yeah. How have you found it? Um, 
like uh, it's been fantastic. Um, second year definitely has been a lot better because obviously having that first year, yeah, um, just to get to know all the boys, and now like, it's just the mateship down in. Yeah, yeah. It's, awesome. it's awesome. So, yeah, yeah. It's awesome. So uh, yeah, yeah, I'm really loving it. Yeah, no, no worries. Uh, heard you kick three in the weekend, so you've got a little bit of a head wobble about you. Yeah? Um, a few of the boys have noted that when asked. Uh, unprompted by me, of course, that you were up there for one of the most annoying blokes in the club for, yeah. for that head wobble. Um, yeah, so just run us through your three goals, mate. Were they, were they yeah. classic snout goals? Or? Nah, look, the game was obviously on the line and uh, they needed a big time player to step up. I think we were down by seven or something in the third and kicked two, and then it came at 24 minutes gone in the last and uh, had to jail up from the pocket to lift the boys. As all good players do, so uh, the old catchphrase when in doubt, kick it to Smout. Yeah, that's right. Certainly comes into play. Yeah, did. Uh, I love, love your work, mate. So I might throw uh, throw it to you. Who do you reckon the most annoying bloke is at the club, and give us a good reason why? Uh, can you put me on the spot here, Posty. Um, or if you have any dirt on anyone. I'm gonna have to go with Mark Griff, just because. Uh, he knows everything about the game and he's, uh, he'll always let you know about it as well. Uh, especially for someone that's 27 and having his first crack at development footy. But uh, yeah, we'll give it a Griffo. And uh, well, another bloke's Lockie Miriams, he's always, he's always plus one at the contest, lurking out the back, got something to say all the time. So yeah, those are me two. Lockie Miriams, 200 centimetre. Just, just crummer, stays off the bat, plus one. Yeah, that's what he does. No worries. Uh, well, thanks for coming on the show, mate. No worries, mate. Good luck for the rest of the year. I'm sure I'll have you on later in the year. Beautiful. Alrighty guys, so I've got my last guest for this evening, uh, Lucas Wormsley, otherwise known as Noodles, the new cult hero down at Flipper Park, running around down the wing. Um, first off, thanks for coming on, on the show, mate. No worries, mate. Um, probably just first thing, run us through the nickname Noodles. Um, okay, so I've had it for probably five or six years. Yeah. Um, it's actually a terrible story about how I got it, but um, I was kicking the footy round at footy training, and um, I had a shot from about 50, and one of the boys was running a lap. Yeah. Scon him right in the back of the head, and he turned around and gave me a spray, and um, noodles was one of the words that came out, and just from there. Noodles. So that's that's how it came about. So, uh, it's, it's pretty, pretty yeah, yeah. creative That's nickname, so, so no, I like it. Yeah. Um, so how have you found settling into the club? Obviously, first year here. Yeah. Give us your thoughts on, on what you've experienced so far. Um, obviously, yes, pre-season was very tough. Um, but, you know, I think that was a really good bonding thing for the boys. Yeah. Uh, we all went through it, so that brought everyone together. Um, I'm absolutely yeah. loving the footy at the moment. Yeah. Um, it's good to get a bit of, uh, I, I think maybe, just having a such a tight knit group, yeah. Um, maybe being a standalone club, uh, everyone gets along really well. Um, you know, footy's Spot footy on. when you're at footy, but you can have a laugh off yeah. the field as well. So, no, I'm, I'm really enjoying it. So it's good. It's oh, good. beautiful. It's good to get the win on the weekend. Yeah, bloody oath, mate. Um, so you're talking about that tight knit group. Is there anyone that you're, you know, probably a bit closer with in particular, or who, who um, do you hang out with around the club? Oh, well, obviously, uh, I played local footy with um, with PD, and then yep. uh, I'll say uh, I've known since I was about ten. Oh wow! Uh, but yeah, just uh, like Sika, Polly, yep. um, a few of the boys that live down, down your down, way, down yeah. LA, so um, yeah, no, I caught up with a few of them um, a couple of times, and yep. it's always good having a, having a, a beer and a laugh. Yeah, yeah. No, it's good. A bit of bonding session, no, no worries. And last question, mate, running with who's the most annoying bloke at the club and why? Jesus. Um, uh, I don't know, actually. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm looking at him right now, so yeah, I'll give it to the Smout train. Loves throwing out a bit of banter and hates copping it. So doesn't, we'll mind, the doesn't mind a topless selfie either. Doesn't mind a topless we'll selfie. We'll pop that one in. Yep. Uh, thanks for coming on the show, Lucas. No worries, mate. Thank okay. you for having me. Yep. And, and that wraps up this episode of In Off The Post, Dolphin TV. Go Dolphs!